In this video, we are going through the process of baking a normal map in Maya. So what baking a normal map does in general in 3D is what it actually means is we want to project a higher resolution model to a lower resolution model in, in texture. So we get the details from the, from the detailed mesh to a more optimized one uh, in regards to triangle count. So as you can see in this example, we have a high resolution mesh here with a lot of details in uh, sculptural details in geometry. And then we have a lower res version of it, a low poly version of it. And in the middle, we can see the projected, the projected normal map being applied to the lower resolution mesh. And as you can see, it's behaving pretty much the same in relation to the lighting in the scene. So the steps to do that, we want to import our high poly mesh into the scene and then have a lower version of it, either by retopologizing it in Maya or some other software, doesn't matter. The low poly version has to be overlapping the, the higher poly version, as you can see on my screen. And to be pedantic, we want to name them accordingly. So shield low poly and shield high poly. So the, ne the next step that we need is we need the lower resolution mesh to have correct UVs without any overlaps and stuff like that, other issues. It should also be in the zero one space. So now what we want to do once that is done, we need to make sure that we have in the, in the UV editor the UV sets is set to the first one or whatever or whatever custom one you want to name it. Uh, just rem remember the name of your current UV set. Then we're going to close this. And in order to actually see the normal map in the scene, we have to press this display textures in, uh, in the Maya viewport. So then we go to the top left and select the rendering. Then we go to lighting slash shading and transfer maps. So this window opens up and it lets us select what is the target mesh for the baking. So that's our low poly. So that's the model that we are going to bake the details to. Then we select that one and then go to add selected and the source meshes. We need to add the high poly version to it. So add selected once we selected the high poly version. So now we have those two selected. Next step you need to do is you can see in this display here in the target meshes, we can select envelope and see if the envelope is actually encompassing the higher poly. If we were to put the envelope to like zero, as you can see, the, the, the projection won't influence these parts of the high poly mesh that are not being enveloped. So we need to increase it somewhat. This is a fairly simple mesh, so it's easy to do this, but in some more complex ones, it may be a bit harder to, to do, but it may require some tweaking. So in this UV set, you select the UV set that we previously mentioned. Then we collapse this target and source meshes because that's done there. And in the output maps, we select normal. These are the different maps that you can bake, but in this video, we're focusing on the normal one. So here, once we've selected our normal map, we want to find the folder in which we want the normal map to be saved in and give it a name dot PNG, for example, and you select in the file format here, PNG. You don't need this include material. You need to set the map space to tangent space because we are baking a tangent space normal map now. And if you select use Maya common settings here, it means that it will use these settings that are set here in the Maya common output. If you were to disable it, you would have to specify it here. So we're going to use Maya common output settings. We're going to put 1K, you can put any power of two here, uh, up to 4K, but we're using 1K for this example. Keep aspect ratio checked, world space, medium, whatever you can, you can play with this until you find which one is uh, better for you. It will influence the time it takes to bake. 
so let's set it to medium and this is all fine connect maps to shader this only tells us if it's going to apply the normal map to our low poly immediately or we can do it later by hand but let's leave it like this and this is perfectly fine so one other thing that i forgot to mention we can set this to mesh here to not see the envelope anymore we need to have a material applied so i applied this shield underscore l material to this one so once all that is done we press bake and then in the lower left side you'll see the loading bar where the process is happening so now the baking process is complete we can close this window we can hide the shield high poly by pressing ctrl h while it's selected in the outliner and we'll see that now the map is applied to our shield L material here in the bump mapping let's open hypershade if you don't know where it, where it is it's in windows rendering editors hypershade and let's display our shield L here in the graph network and you'll see that in the normal camera we have a shield normal applied as a bump map the map, bump map is set to tangent tangent space normals and it's using the file that we specified now in my viewport sometimes it looks weird uh, you can play around with these color spaces until you find something that looks good for you but uh, in any case i'm only doing this step to preview because i'm importing the normals to a game engine and then applied to to my model in the material editor in the in the engine so this is for preview purposes for me so that's it now you have a lower polygon version of your model with which has details from your higher poly mesh displayed on it as a, as a normal map